Right. Uh, you know. We don't make assumptions I'm, either. I'm certainly not good at that. <laughs> a lot of times I, I speak up before, you know, I'm not always a wise woman. And right. So... Anyway. We do we do bring out scenarios once in a while though you know we give you a scenario but we don't do any speculation though we don't do that you know we just give you we give out scenarios what could what do you think that that would might happen you know we don't we don't talk about you know speculation here but we give you scenarios that are possibilities you know we don't we that are that are real not what think that somebody would would, would do or or, or believe in no we asked for scenarios from your own personal opinion you know, what do you think of of this issue or 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 this kind of um of uh of, of th this kind of subject matter you know we asked the caller at, at, at that question so we bring it out there we give you a scenario and you respond that's how this is what we do here we actually do this on our network by the way Right. Well, that's good. That's good to know. And we'll have to always stay in touch because I would like to end up, you know, between you and I and the rest of the world or whomever's going to be listening to this radio interview in the near future or if it is, in fact, live, I think you can say it was. Mm -hmm. But um, I would like to end up, Mark, in D.C. and, you know, um, do lobbying and things of that nature. I know that God is calling me to some capacity to serve this nation, not just to sing the national anthem at events or what have you. But I want to, you know... Can I, can I say something right now? I want to say something. You know, God, I don't believe that God calls people. He leads people. That's what he does. He guides them. That's one book. I mean, there's one book people should should read. If they can't read it yet, it's Billy Graham, by the way. Billy Graham, I have it right here. I'm going to post it up on the screen right now. And Billy Graham, as I am. So there it is, right there. Billy Graham. You know, this is his, this is his bio, bio biography. We have it right here. This is his book. So you know, this is one thing we actually do on this network. We actually bring the facts out and let people know about it. And this is what we do. Uh, but uh, if people want to, see, if people want to read it. You know, just as I am by Billy Graham, the autobiography. And he, God. Hi. God leads people. It doesn't tell. It doesn't. God doesn't tell tell people. He guides them. Is what he does. So, um, you know. Well, that's certainly the fact factual in my case because he has been leading me and guiding me. There you go. And I have the most respect for Billy Graham, as I'm sure most Americans do. And now his son has taken over his ministry, and right. he's doing great works. And um, you gotta love Billy Graham. I think I actually have that book. I'm gonna have to go home and try to find it. Yeah, I. I, I, I have. I, I'm, it's amazing how many books I got around here. It's I got I got a library full of books around here. I really do. I mean, I can grab any any book on a bookshelf. You know, I'll find it. You know, uh, you know, even um, uh, even a book by. Uh, I'm going to get this one out too. Uh, here's another one. Stephen Ambrose. You know, Stephen Ambrose. Nothing like the nothing like in nothing like it in the world you know another one a great book you know people need people want to understand about what what this country's found on the greatness of freedom you know the great way the gateway to the railroading industry the the gateway to freedom you know this is one book people need to read by Stephen Ambrose nothing like nothing like it in the world excellent book by the way i have i, I read it i actually have it and it's just an excellent book. It really is an excellent, excellent read. Wow. So you you would it would be safe to say you read probably a couple books a week then, Mark, or is that I, I, time? I'm not sure. I, I, I read as sure much as I can. I read as much as I can. I'm telling I I I it took me believe it or not, it took me um, over four months to read um, one book by World War One. By the way, World War One, USC Marshall, you know the history of World War One. Excellent book, excellent book. By the way, if people want to know about World War One and how to deal with ISIS, this is a book you need to get. And and in the only place you can get it at is a used bookstore. And Amazon, they want, you know, for, this is a paperback book. Paperback book, Amazon wants over $2,500 for this paperback book because as it's out of print. It's out of print, but you got to buy it in bookstores. I don't know where you can find it, but I managed to pick one up at St. Vincent de Paul for, uh, for $1.25, by the way. $1.25, Amazon wants 
uh, $1,200 for this book, by the way. They want, uh, this is a paperback. eBay, they want $900 on eBay for it. So it gives you an idea of what, what's going on right now. The internet is more expensive than what you go in the store right now. Uh, why is that? Because it's convenience for the people. If you don't want to go shopping, don't want to look. Uh, but, you know, there's, if they go, if they go to the, if they go to, um, uh, the old thrift stores or the or, or the pawn shop, you know, you can find it's amazing what you can find out there. You know, the secondhand stores. It's amazing what you can find. It really is. It's a uh -huh. it really is. So do keep that in mind. You know, you really do. If you want to get if you want to get some old books that you that you that you not normally get uh, and you want and it's hard to find, go to your Saint Vincent de Paul store. I'm telling you, go to your Saint okay. Saint Vinny's. Check them out. Absolutely, check them out. A great place, great, a great place to go to get an old book if you want to find a book. Even it's Tom Sawyer now being banned by the, uh, by the, by the school systems. Why? Because they don't want Huckleberry Finn or the Adventures of Mark Sawyer. No, they cannot have that. They're being banned right now because they use the word in, you know, a, a nig, a Negro, you know. We can't use the word Negro anymore. You can't use the word, the N, the the other N word either, you know. But it's just ridiculous, you know. I mean, it's, you know, I, I have people, you know, I have I have people had, I have had Permit Kane on this network. I have had uh, even uh, Ron Hallwell on this network. D, Alan West. And these guys are patriots. I don't consider them as as, uh, as a minority or an African American. No, they are American patriots. Is what you are, just like you. You are a lady of liberty. I think of every single. I mean, we have had uh, people, uh, even 